Will Muschamp just got fired. This is hot off the press as of about 20 minutes ago. Um, not really a surprise. Uh, they've been going downhill for a while. They got blown out last week. They couldn't get it done this weekend against Ole Miss, a winnable game. Um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, kind of su The only surprising aspect is that it's happening right now at this point in time, but look at their most recent games. Um, Wilson, you're out of Columbia. You're, you're closer to the program. How do you feel about this, and does it surprise you? Oh, well, I'm incredibly disappointed that he got fired at South Carolina. He, he brought the Gamecocks to new lows. Uh, very, very, very embarrassing defeats to us. Um, very fun games to go to. But, no, I'm not surprised. Um, we knew that he was going to get fired this year or next year. Uh, you know, the, the, the unfortunate part was I think this was his last chance at the Power Five, at least – uh, for a while. Uh, he bombed at Florida and he bombed here, so I don't know what he's going to do. He'll probably end up going to be an assistant at uh, Alabama. Um, I don't think anyone would take a chance of him being a D.C., at least in the Power Five. Uh, his defenses have been getting trashed these past few years, and he's known as a defensive guy. So, but yeah, um, rest in peace, Muschamp. You tried, but you're just not a very good coach. You couldn't get it done. Will, uh, Matt, he was y'all's DC a few years ago back in, what was that, like the late 2000s, the late the late 2010s, like 2008 or so? Was that what it was? How do you feel about this? And do you feel like he's going to have a, a head coaching position at a Power 5 school anytime soon? No, uh, it'll be a while. But I, I'm, you know, it, it's, I don't feel any certain way about it. You know, he was the head coach in waiting at Texas. And, uh, you know, he, he left to go to Florida, didn't do well there, didn't do well at South Carolina. So, I mean, I'm honestly surprised that they gave him this amount of time. I mean, today's day, day and age, especially in the SEC, if, you give, if you're given five years to be like a head coach, you got to show something. And he never really showed anything. I mean, year two, they went nine and four and beat Michigan in the Outback Bowl. That was like the highlight, but they didn't even like compete for the East. So, um, I mean, they went two and five this year and they just, they just had enough of them. And, um, you know, it, 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 I'm glad to see it because, you know, South Carolina has a passionate fan base. Like, like Drew's always said, he's been to a few games out there, but um, they, they deserve a little bit better than Will Muscamp. I mean, I feel like they're just in purgatory. You know, I watched the A&M game versus South Carolina and that was just embarrassing. I mean, they had like a, a full COVID house for it and um, they just got destroyed. So, you know, the, South Carolina def, desperately needs like a, some new blood in there. And um, I think Billy Napier will be a great fit there. Hopefully that does happen. But uh, yeah, I'm not surprised to see Muscamp go. I'm curious to see where he ends up at though, because I do think he'll be able to climb his way back into a head coaching job eventually. I just don't know when or where that'll, that'll happen. Yeah, I kind of I kind of see him being an assistant like Wilson was saying. He has a lot of friend, uh, coach, coaching friends. He's good, he's good friends with Jimbo. I wouldn't mind seeing him ending up on the A&M staff in some capacity. Nowhere near the coordinator position or anything like that, but some kind of um, advisor type of position for him to just kind of take a step back and reevaluate himself and the way he looks at the game maybe. But uh could be hard for him to find a job in the next couple of years. I know our 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 resident Texas Tech Red Raider might might not be so opposed to having him. Connor, would you would you take Will Muscamp right now if it was available? So I would not take him as a head coach, right? Uh, Matt Wells actually did a very decent job coaching us against Baylor this past week. We got a new kicker. Um, we've been – I think Columbia got hurt when we had Bowman, and he actually seemed like he was capable this game. So I am I have a little bit of faith restored now, and I kind of want to see the rest of the season. I would, don't think I would mind him if he was a DC or like a defensive assistant coach here. I mean, like y'all said, he is a defensive guy. A lot of the Big 12 defenses aren't that great, uh, especially at Texas Tech. We're kind of known for being like a, a shootout team with just a, a very powerful offense. And I would love to see the defense take that little step forward and maybe give us a, just a slight edge. Um, so maybe a little coaching spot somewhere on the defensive side of the roster. But as far as like a head defensive coordinator or a, head coach, I'd say, no, I don't want him. 
Yeah, so I think the consensus is he will not be a head coach anytime soon. Most, most likely he'll be an assistant for a Power 5 school, someone he has a relationship with, or he'll be in a G5 school as an assistant somewhere. Uh, yeah. Don't see him head coaching for a while. 